And we cannot see the chat box, as you can probably tell, because we killed so many units so quickly that it couldn't handle it. So yes, there we are. We only lost 20 units. They lost, yes, a hell of a lot more than that. So that's very good. Now, will I pilot it again? Because we cannot really see the text log. I think I'll pilot it one more time, and then for the last one I'll let Marnid pilot it. That will give us a suitable amount of time with the Aleph. The only problem is with it is that I cannot order my troops around. As you can see here, no flag actually appears for me to be able to tell them to hold position, and the other Aleph doesn't actually do anything, which is rather unfortunate. I was hoping it would, but yeah, there we are anyway. Go on, shoot him! And yes, the FPS is now tanking once again because we are shooting so many units right now at once. And let's actually just take a look how many we've killed. 78! Yes, we've killed 78 units already due to the Aleph's amazing power. So that is very astounding. Okay, come on. Yeah, take that! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. <laughs> yes, as you can see, my FPS is abysmal at the moment. Due to the graphics that the LF actually employs to use. Oh my. Okay, come on. Shoot these guys. Oh no. Okay, I'll try and shoot some a little bit further away. Anyone else? We've actually killed all of them already. Look at this! Look at the amount of bodies! It's a massacre! The Aleph knows how to play, that is for sure. Anyone else? I can actually see anyone else. I'm going to try and snipe them if I do. Aha! That fellow over there! Let's take him down! Okay, never mind. I think I overshot that a little bit. <laughs> yes, come on. Oh, no. A little bit short. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Did I get him? Maybe. Yes, I think I may have, or my troops did. I am not entirely sure about that. But as you can see, we took out 234. Wow. Okay. Now that is rather insane, I have to admit. Okay, well, for the last round, I will let Manid pilot it, and we will see whether both Alephs actually work this time. Because I would like to... Oh, they do! Oh my goodness. Can you imagine having more than this? I know some of you have actually stated in the comments that you had at least 8, 9, 10 of them, and I cannot imagine how overpowered that would be, so... Yeah. Just amazing. Really, really cool. Whoa. Okay. Well, we'll need as much help as we can get, I suppose. When the doomsday rolls around and... Oh yes, I still cannot see the chat box. I may actually need to restart my Mountain Blade for that to be reset. Oh no. I was hoping that it would actually catch up by the time we stopped piloting the Aleph, but unfortunately that does not seem to be the case. So, we may need to restart it, which is going to be a little unfortunate. Oh, I'm hoping to actually get a level so that I can level up my strength once more. And then we'll be able to wear the gauntlets. Shoot him! Yeah, there we go. I think that was my kill right there. And maybe I can pull off a headshot on this guy? No, don't think so. Oh my, whoa, our Templars are very vicious indeed. Okay, wow, yes, and that was 922 Desert Bandits, and it was as easy as anything else. Really, really amazing. Jeez, okay, that was it. Wow, yeah, we had no casualties whatsoever. It does say every time that Marnid was killed, but I don't think so. I think that's just a bit of a display bug. And let's just rescue a few people. And now we want to take 50 of these elites, don't we? Yes. That is going to sell for a lot of cash. 
Okay, a lot of war camels, and I can't actually take any more. That is unfortunate. As I said, I was on my way to Amarad to actually sell most of my loot that I had gathered from the village. So, let's try to actually get in there. Yes, avoid them best we can. Okay, who's this? Oh, Undead Horde. Oh no. Do they have flesh golems? They do. Oh no. Okay. Let's avoid them. They're slow enough. It's all good. Okay, that's fine. We made it. We made it. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so I will sell once again, and so I will see you soon. Okay, so I thought we may head in to talk to the guild master once again, and I think we'll probably build yet another smithy. Yes, that will be quite nice indeed. And there we are now. I think we should go to the tavern and sell our prisoners as well. And see if there's anyone here to recruit. No, not anyone that is very useful at least. And I cannot see how much cash I got from that. Oh! Okay, well, it seems to be quite a lot, as you can probably see there. Amazing. And we did actually level up. So, let's get one more point in strength. And one of you did actually suggest leveling trade. So, I think I may put one point in that just for now, and we'll see how I can do later on. Does anyone else have trade here? Yes, Marnid has trade. Does that actually affect us? That's a party skill, isn't it? I think so. So maybe if he leaves, which is unlikely, I suppose, but if he leaves, then that will be fine. Okay, so let's actually take a look at what he has as his skills. Hmm. Inventory management, wound treatment. Ah, I think we should get him some toughness and weapon master, although he's not really going to be using his weapon at all, is he? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at his firearm skill! Oh, that is insane! Okay, well, I don't think he needs Weapon Master. I think he probably needs Horse Archery if he's ever going to run around. I don't think he would. Hmm, okay, well, let's do it anyway, just in case he does actually switch to using a regular horse rather than riding the Aleph. Wow, that is quite insane. Okay, <laughs> that's good to know at least that he is very, very well equipped. Okay, more agility for him, I think, and some weapon master skill. And level up a few of these. Ooh, mercenary women, very nice. And what do they go into? Mercenary Huntress and Mercenary Defenders. Aha, very nice indeed. Okay, so we have 193 units out of 281 as a max. Mm, not bad, not bad. Okay, I was hoping that we could actually take out one of the... Oh my, as you can see. <laughs> very, very big horde coming in here. But, as I was saying, I was hoping we could take out one of the Desert Bandit Lairs. That would reduce the amount of Desert Bandits here, which might actually serve us quite well. But I think for now, what I will do is end this episode off here, and next time on Blood and Steel, we will hopefully have Doomsday right around the corner, and I'm not entirely sure why I'm saying hopefully on that. But yes, we will see what that brings. And hopefully, we will have captured yet another Aleph. What I'm hoping to do is perhaps fight one of the vassals from potentially the Rodox, the Swadians, the Vagirs, or the Nords. As you can see, the Swadians are eating into the Nords' territory already. So that's something that we should be aware of. And also, the Nords have taken Praven. Oh my goodness. They swapped bases, apparently, yes. But yes, as I was saying, it would be quite nice to be able to capture a few more Alephs for the upcoming battles with the very, very difficult hordes that will be unleashed soon enough. I'm not entirely sure whether it will be even possible to be able to take them out, but one can hope and try. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.